Your heart is now beating too slowly on its own and it needs help. We recommend a pacemaker be fitted. Gosh, what daunting words to hear from a heart specialist. Isn't that something that old people have to have? Well, apparently not so. This little battery operated machine can be inserted into any age group, even children. In fact, more than 50,000 pacemakers are fitted in the UK every year and over 1 million are fitted worldwide. Even armed with this information and knowing what a simple procedure it was, I was filled with nerves as the day drew closer and closer. I found out I was in for a surprise. I was awake for the procedure, but sedated and was listening to Rod Stewart, this old heart of mine. Evidently heart surgeons have a sense of humour. After 45 minutes, which seemed more like 10, I heard the words, OK, all finished. One hour later, I was eating, watching TV and walking around. For six weeks, the doctors suggested not to stretch up the left arm above shoulder height to allow that little friend to settle in and not to get the area wet. And after that, it's plain sailing all the way. During this time, sports bras quickly became a must have on my shopping list. Call it vanity, if you will, but I was a little concerned with the scar. However, after only two months, it faded into a fine two inch line, barely visible. The stitches dissolved and I quickly got used to my new bionic part, mostly forgetting about it completely. In the 70s, the TV series Six Million Dollar Man, starring Lee Majors, was a smash hit. I loved the series and wondered what it would be like to have a bionic part. Well, now I know. Always be careful what you wish for, as the universe is listening. I can't praise or thank enough the wonderful doctors and nurses of the NHS who work tirelessly to care for us in our times of need. I now have a little card that travels with me and means I'm exempt from passing through the scanning machines at airports, lest I set off the alarms and scare everyone. That was nearly 10 years ago and technology has come on in leaps and bounds since then, especially with pacemakers. Research in Amsterdam has shown that a new and improved wireless mini version, the size of vitamin pill, can be inserted directly into the heart through the vein, eliminating the need for a box or wires. How amazing is that? However, I err on the side of caution for a few things that maybe can interfere with pacemakers working properly, because it's better to be safe than sorry. Electromagnetic waves can be found just about everywhere nowadays and are safe for most people. But if you have a bionic part, then you might need to be mindful of security metal detectors, magnets, portable car battery chargers, anti-theft systems, microwave ovens, electric fences, smart meters, gas powered equipment, car jumpstart cables, CB radios, ab simulators, electrolysis machines, tasers, headphones, and cell or mobile phones. There are certain medical procedures that may need extra caution when you have a pacemaker, so always let medical personnel know beforehand so they can make the necessary adjustments. So my friends, if you hear those words, pacemaker from a doctor, take heart, if you'll pardon the pun. There's nothing to fear. And it's really just a piece of cake. <laughs>